Okay, so I'm sorry if you can hear the dishwasher in the background and the washing machine or whatever it is. So, I thought we'd talk a little bit about these G-Shocks. Um, now, Jeff Buys Cars uh, has asked whether I build him a watch. In fact, no, he hasn't asked. I offered, so let's get that straight first. So, Jeff, this is just a, like a, a school of what watch does what sort of thing. Now, to try and work out what you want. This watch came in earlier today, and this is a G-Shock, and this one's solar powered, so there's, around the outside there is a solar panel, and you never have to change the battery because, well, basically it charges up in the sun, so you press that button, and as you can see, it's got a very easy to read screen. So that came in, I've, I've stripped it down, cleaned it all, reset it, the straps were absolutely worn out, so I've re-strapped it with a NATO-style strap, which is fully adjustable, and um, it looks quite nice. I think the grey goes well with the lights as well, I feel. So yeah, so that's one. That's a very cool watch, but it is fairly big. It is a fairly big watch. Um, we've also got... This is a GA100 which is an analog digital watch um, and it's very groovy there's like it has stopwatch and all that kind of stuff everything you could kind of want in a watch um, and this has had a new battery had all the bits done to it um, I recalibrated everything they've all had an AC reset as well because you need to do that if you change the battery um, and that's a nice watch. A little harder to see with a negative uh, face, but it, what you can't see is I, I've modified this with a strap that looks like denim. So it's a denim G-Shock style. I've, it comes with the original bezel as well and the strap. I put that in the box, so if you ever need to swap it back, you can. Um, and it's quite a chunky fellow, this one. So it is big, but it's nice. So... Lovely watch, that'll last forever. Um, now, Jeff, this might be more your thing. So, uh, this is called a G100. If you, This is kind of the smallest G-Shock you can buy. Um, and it has a... Oh, I nearly dropped it then. It has a uh, digital display here. And there is a light for that. And it, it's pretty good, to be fair. And these, I don't know if you can pick up, but there's like a bioluminescence on these. And so if you turn the lights off, it will glow. Um, super tough, made of resin, and much, 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 much smaller on the wrist. Much smaller. Um, small, small enough for kids. That's how small it is. But good little watches, super reliable. This one, same thing. I stripped it all down and cleaned it. Uh, Kobe's actually been using this. So um, he said Jeff can swap him for something if he wants it. So, yeah. Um, so I could build you something like this. I could even... We could get one of these and maybe put like a NATO-style strap on it. Um, now, I'll show you these watches. So this isn't a G-Shock. This is a DW... I think it's a 290, is it? Uh... Yeah, DW290. And this uh, was actually in Mission Impossible. It's a Illuminator watch. It's got a... Ignore that. I was just messing around trying to work out strap sizes. It's got a little compass on there. You don't have to have that. Um, this is... Yeah, the watch out of Mission Impossible. It was also worn by a Navy SEAL who ended up a senator. And he was known for wearing the watch on the inside of the wrist, like that, which is, is for two reasons, light discipline, and also you can see the sign, or if you've got a stopwatch, you can see the face when you're shooting. So that's got a pretty cool history. It's a really retro-looking piece. Now, Jeff, I've got, I've bought another one of these non -work, not working. So if I can get that going, if you really fancy it, it's a bit special. And you can't, they've stopped making these now, so you can't get them anymore, new. Uh, but I've had this, this particular one is probably seven or eight years old now. Um, and it's going strong. And it's not that big. 
in comparison to your beastie G-Shocks like so. So it's not, not as big. Probably around the same size as a G100 if I'm fair. But the G100 has probably got a slightly smaller face. I would say. So yeah. Uh, also this one is anti-magnetic as well. It's got a few bits and bobs. And this is my, my daily drive. This is what I wear. And the only reason I wear this. Because actually to tell the time. It's absolutely useless. You can barely see the hands. And it's not backlit. It's so cool looking. Uh, the reason I do wear it is because it matches the O on my glasses. And that is literally the vainest thing ever. But that is why I wear them. So um, that is my current collection. Um, I think they're all pretty cool. I've got some more coming. I've got a very cool GA200 coming. And I have... Uh, bought another one and I can't remember what it was so yeah these are the kind of kind of things that I do so I've been doing this for a little while now but it's just it's a hobby that's that's kind of getting out of hand but yeah um, Jeff if you watch this which what would you like me to build you so um, just remember that one in the middle isn't technically a, a G-Shock but let me know